What's up party people? Welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian and I'm in the park today and we have an awesome practice for you. We have a flow to connect you to your strength. So get ready to sweat, get ready to find what feels good and have some fun at the pond. Alrighty, today we're going to begin in an extended child's pose. So bring the knees as wide as your yoga mat, two big toes to touch, and then crawl your paws all the way out. Take a deep breath in and on your exhale, surrender, forehead comes to the mat. This is where we're gonna start. So you can take a look at the video, take a look at me, and then take your gaze straight down when you feel comfortable. Come into your little cave of love here where we're going to make all that's wrong in the world right again and find what it feels good. You deserve this time for yourself, so close your eyes, take a nice deep breath in and long exhale out. Deep breath in through the nose, long breath out through the nose or the mouth, doesn't matter. And continue to deepen your breath, play with it. And we think about why you came onto your mat today. Maybe calling an intention out for your practice. Something positive that serves you in the present moment here as you breathe into the back body. Grow heavy in the hips and the shoulders. Choosing to let go of the day thus far. Any items on the agenda ahead. The hard part is over, you're on your mat, you're here. Let's have some fun today. Begin to spread awareness throughout the palm. So the fingertips spread wide and plant all 10 knuckles, all 10 fingertips down strong. Then gently lift your elbows here. Small lift in the elbows. We're just gonna slowly energetically pull the shoulders back. This action is gonna lift the head and the heart all the way up. We'll walk the knees underneath the hips. Toes straight out. Walk the wrists underneath and begin to move in your cat-cow. Find what feels good here, moving with your breath, stretching out the front body, the back body. And then when you're ready, you can kind of veer off the railroad tracks here and begin to play, stretching through the side body. Sending the hips one way and then the other. Maybe tapping into a little inner smile, if you will. Stretching through the feet by curling the toes under. Any movement here that feels awesome, explore. Stretching the body, maybe tending to the wrist. And then wherever you are, come back to center and do one more. Inhaling, pressing away from your foundation. And then exhaling, arching the back like a black Halloween cat. Navel draws up, 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 stretch, stretch, stretch. And then release. We'll make our way to downward facing dog. You got it. Keep the knees bent here at first as you send the hip points up high. Inhale in, deep breath. Exhale, stretching one heel down, then the other. Pedaling it out as we like to say. Hugging the lower ribs in, continuing to spread awareness through the palms. We're going for 110 full body experience here today. So that'll look and feel a little different for everyone, of course, but it's up to you to make sure that you are um, staying open to expanding awareness throughout the whole body. So no body part left behind. One moving part. Great. We're gonna take it for a nice slow walk now up towards the front edge. Take your time, roll through the foot. We land in Uttanasana, extended forward fold. Allow the weight of the head to drop down. You might check that by shaking the head yes and no. You might clasp the elbows, of course, rock gently side to side. Feet can be hip width apart or flush together. It doesn't matter, just nice conscious footing again, spreading awareness throughout the whole body. So we're going for total body health, fit in the body, fit in the mind, nice and open in your heart. Take a couple breaths here.
then release through the arms and we'll take a nice slow roll up see if you can really slow it down today and if you're feeling brave keep your eyes closed we'll roll all the way up to mountain when you rise up you know what to do here Maybe looping the shoulders, maybe teeter-tottering with the head or drawing big circles with the nose, exploring the body, stretching, working out any kinks, <clears throat> and just essentially right coming into the body, kind of settling into the practice and the commitment to stay curious, right? No yoga robots here. So then we'll walk the feet together, press into all four corners. And after you've kind of worked out the kinks and found a little movement that feels good, go ahead and come to a nice still mountain pose. We'll bring the palms open, lift up through the armpit chest here and stand up nice and tall. Reconnect with your breath here, super important today as we flow. And so we're gonna practice moving uh, breath and body. So inhale, reach the arms all the way up and overhead. Exhale, float the fingertips down. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, float the fingertips down. So it seems like a simple action, but to really integrate movement and breath takes some focus. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Don't fold, float down. <laughs> Inhale, reach. And exhale, float it down. Okay, if you're getting a little bored, you can start to integrate the neck, drawing maybe a line with the nose all the way up as you reach up, big breath in, and then chin to chest as you exhale, fingertips down. Keep it going, inhale, integrate. Getting used to moving with the breath. Then hold on to a focus point now. And we'll inhale, come up on the toes. Just challenge ourselves a little bit. Really see if we can move with the breath as you inhale. Reach, reach, reach. When the breath stops, we pause at the top and then exhale, float it down. Two more times just like that. Inhale. Exhale, practice. Moving with your breath. One more time, inhale. Pause at the top, exhale. Release everything down. Beautiful, inhale, reach for the sky. Keep moving with your breath. This time, exhale, fold down through the midline. Great, inhale, halfway lift, your version. Nice flat back position here, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach for the sky. Take it all in, I have a beautiful sky here today to look up to, and then exhale, hands to heart. But even if you are looking up at the ceiling, right? Connect to your imagination, your creative self, enjoy your practice. Here we go, inhale, reach. Move with your breath, exhale, down through the midline. Inhale, full breath as you come to a flat back. Long neck here, use the exhale to float it down. Flowing with the breath, we inhale, reach for the sky. And exhale, hands to heart. This time, tuck your pelvis. Again, each time we move through a flow or vinyasa, we're getting an opportunity to connect to something bigger and to add on to that awareness. So maybe this time it's paying attention to the pelvis. Inhale, reach it up. Full exhale, down you go. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Last time like this, inhale, spread the fingertips, reach for the sky. Exhale, tuck the pelvis, hands to heart. Great, here we go, adding on, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, down we go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms, slide the right toes back, followed by the left. We come to a plank, zip the legs together here. Press away from your yoga mat. Inhale, reach forward with the crown. Come onto the two big toes. Exhale, hug the elbows slowly lower all the way down to the belly. Flip onto the top of the feet, pull the elbows back and inhale, cobra. Exhale, release, awesome. Curl the toes under. Option here to come to all fours. 
and then peel up to downward dog from there. Or for more strength, more heat in the body, curl the toes under, press up to top of a push-up, anchor navel to spine as you hug the lower ribs in, and then send it to down dog. And if you're like, what the what, Adrian? Just know that you always have an option in your transition. Move in a way that feels good for you, connect. I'm merely your online yoga guide and friend. It's really up to you to show up for yourself and to find what feels good. Drop the left heel. Let's try lifting the right leg up high. Deep breath in here. On an exhale, squeeze the right knee up and in towards your heart. Hover here for a second, connect to your strength and then step the right foot up into your lunge. Lower the left knee, inhale, reach the fingertips up high. Exhale, float them down. Moving into a twist, left palm on the earth or left fingertips lifted. We inhale, open up through the right wing. You can lift the back knee here, inhale in, find upward facing dog in the spine, maybe lift your chin, lift your heart, and then exhale, down you go. Plant the palms, step the right toes back, Again, bring the two big toes together. Shift your gaze forward, hug the elbows in, lower down all the way to the belly, repeat cobra, or maybe you come to upward facing dog. Nice and soft in the neck. When you're ready, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, long breath out. Drop the right heel, lift the left leg up high. On your exhale, squeeze it up and in. Connect to your strength again here. Tap into it, and then step it up into your lunge. We lower the right knee down. And we inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, rain it down. Twist, left finger, excuse me, right fingertips on the mat or right palm, so you decide if you need that space here. And then inhale, left fingertips up towards the sky. Feel free to lift that back knee, inhale. Nice, beautiful length in the crown. Long spine, long neck, so we're not here and then take it all the way down. Awesome, plant the palms again, step the two big toes together, we shift forward, we practice chaturanga to up dog, or belly to cobra, and then we send it to down dog. Repeat the slow walk from before my friends, welcome that heat, or bend the knees generously, look forward, inhale in, and on an exhale, hop to the top. <laughs> inhale, halfway lift, long neck, Exhale, soften and bow. Press into your feet, reach for the sky. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands to heart. Tuck the pelvis. Here we go. Inhale, reach the fingertips up high. This time, grab the left wrist with the right hand. Exhale, tilt to the right, side body stretch. Inhale to center, reach. Exhale, tilt to the left. Inhale to center. This time, bend the elbows, thumbs back, pinkies forward. Inhale in, reach. Exhale, forward fold. Nice job, my friend. Inhale, halfway lift, keep it going. Welcome that heat. Exhale, bow. Step it back to plank. Strong foundation here. This time you can play with bringing the two big toes together or you can play with keeping them wide. Just experimenting as we shift the weight forward, hug the elbows in, slowly lower down. Cobra or upward facing dog. Take a deep breath in wherever you are and then exhale, make your way to down dog. When you arrive, drop the left heel, lift the right leg up high, big breath in. Exhale, squeeze, nose to knee, try to touch your uh, nose to your knee. Then step it up into your lunge. This time we're gonna keep the back heel lifted, back knee lifted, stack front knee over front ankle as you reach up high. So high lunge here, right hip crease pulls back, Go ahead and bend through your left knee as you reach the fingertips up so that you can scoop the tailbone underneath you, lift up through the front body. Then begin to stretch the left heel back. Inhale in, exhale, warrior two. Strong legs here, so take a look down at your legs. Find the foundation as you roll the top of that right thigh out. Charge the left inner thigh, press into the back edge of your left foot and then we'll reach, reach, reach. Pull the pinkies back lengthen through the crown. Now check it out. Turn the right toes in, then both heels in, so both toes are out. Then I'm gonna bend my knees. As I do so, eagle arms, I'm gonna bring right arm underneath the left. Bring the palms together, knees super wide. Again, attention back on that pelvis, tailbone down as you inhale. Lift the elbows up, hug the lower ribs in, navel in, belly in. Great, strong pose here. One more breath, you got it. Then exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat. Left fingertips forward, right fingertips back. 
find your warrior two here pull the pinkies back create a full body experience my friends peaceful warrior left fingertips reach forward up and back find your breath again inhale exhale extended side angle top of the uh, excuse me, left elbow comes to the top of the left thigh. We don't collapse here, stay connected to your center. Inhale, reach the fingertips forward. Come to this variation here, or you can begin to reach right fingertips towards the sky, left fingertips towards your mat. Lots of options to play here, and we'll return to this pose. So keep breathing, keep exploring, don't give up. Inhale in, exhale, journey, dial your heart all the way back to your lunge. And we're now facing the back edge of your mat as you plant the palms. Step the left toes back, move through your vinyasa, or take it straight to down dog. When you arrive, once again, we'll drop the left heel, lift the right leg up high. Here we go again, squeezing nose to knee, connect to your strength. Step it up into your lunge, high lunge, whenever you're ready. Find your foundation, hug energy in to the midline, and then reach for the sky. Big breath in here as you create full body experience. Open the palms wide. Then exhale, warrior two. To the opposite side, to the back. Right foot forward, left foot's back. Tailbone heavy. Reach, reach, reach. Then again, we turn the right toes in. Then both heels in, so both toes are out. Coming into kind of a goddess pose or a horse pose. Right arm underneath, eagle arm. Sink deep, my friends. Meet your edge. Inhale, elbows lift. Exhale, sink deep. Lean back into it. Gorgeous. Warrior two to the front. <sighs> nice, everyone. Peaceful warrior as you reach left fingertips forward, up and back. Inhale in. Exhale, extended side angle. Again, we can come here, especially if we're working on this posture. If we're new to the practice, eventually we'll get the left fingertips down and maintain nice strength through the core and through this line from the crown to the tail. One more breath here, you got it. Keep the right inner thigh awake. And then we'll dial the heart back to the lunge and take a vinyasa. Step the left toes back, move with your breath. Exhale to down dog. Awesome. Pedal it out, inhale in. Let's take a cleansing exhale out through the mouth. Walk up to the front edge or bend the knees. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, float to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Awesome work, everyone. We're gonna do the same little dance on the other side. Connect to your strength, loop the shoulders, lift your heart. Here we go, inhale, extend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Great, plant the palms. Step the right toes followed by the left toes back. Shift your weight forward, move through your flow. From downward facing dog, this time we'll drop the right heel, lift the left leg up high. Big breath in, nose to knee. Step the left foot up. Soften through the right knee, find your foundation, find your footing, and then inhale, reach up, high lunge. Go through your checklist, bend the right knee, scoop the tailbone underneath you. Widen through the arms if you need to, especially if you feel like the shoulders are tight and creeping up. Then hug the inner thighs to the midline, inhale in, exhale, warrior two to the right. Left fingertips forward, right fingertips back. Sink deep here, take a look down. And when you're ready, we'll inhale in, exhale, left toes in, then both heels in, so both toes are out. So we'll smooth out this transition the more you practice this. We bend the knees, this time left arm underneath the right, eagle arms. Inhale, lift the elbows, tailbone heavy. Exhale, sink a little deeper, you got it. Beautiful, warrior two to the back edge of your mat. Inhale in. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Keep sinking into that front leg, strong. Inhale in again. Exhale, extended side angle. Feel free to come to the top of the right thigh. Work, play here. Creating this nice line from the outer edge of the back foot all the way to the front. 
one more breath in whatever variation suits you this morning or today. <laughs> it's a morning for me. Inhale in, exhale. Back to your lunge. Stick with it, guys. Plant the palms. Slide the right toes back. Move through your flow or feel free to skip it. Go straight to down dog. Right heel drops down. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Stick with it. Squeeze nose to knee. Cultivate strength. Step the left foot up. Find your high lunge. Take your time getting there. Building from the ground up. When you're ready, reach the arms up high. Full breaths here. And then we'll send it to warrior two. Strong legs. Pull the pinkies back. Inhale in. Exhale, left toes in, then both heels in. Come to your goddess pose, or your horse pose. Left arm underneath, eagle arms. Inhale, lift the elbows up. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Inhale, lift the elbows up. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Inhale in. Exhale, strong legs. Inhale, peaceful warrior, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. You got it. Opening up, finding that connection from the crown all the way to the back heel. One more breath here. Nice work, everyone. Stick with it. Dial your heart back to center with control, with grace if you can. Plant the palms, slide the right toes back. Feel free to move through a vinyasa here. We're going to meet in child's pose. Take a little rest. Nice. Hmm. So when you arrive in your child's pose, you can bring the knees together or the knees wide. Your back will tell you which one you prefer. When you arrive, close your eyes and just take a rest. Great, slowly we'll reach the fingertips up. Come all the way back to all fours. Curl the toes under and send the hips up high, down dog. Awesome work, everyone. So one last leg here of fire to our ritual. We're gonna bend the knees, look forward, inhale in. Exhale, hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, reach for the sky. And repeating, bending the elbows here, thumbs back, pinkies forward. Inhale, reach. Exhale to the right. Inhale, reach. Exhale to the left. Inhale, reach. And exhale, rain it down. Okay, so bring the palms together here and bend the knees. A little bit of space between the heels, like a thumbprint. Oh, that breeze feels good. And um, we're coming into a chair, chair pose. So actually, let's take the fingertips forward just so you can kind of play with the weight here. So the more the fingertips reach forward, the more we're able to send the sit bones back. Hug the lower ribs in. And then we'll bring the palms together here. Here we go. Inhale, lift sternum to thumbs. Exhale, send the outer edge of the left arm to the outer edge of the right thigh or knee. Find your deep twist here. Breathe, remember why you showed up on your mat today. Find length in the crown of the head. And then shift your weight to your right foot. And here we go, having some fun today. Again, cultivating strength. See if you can lift your left heel to your left buttock. Woo, give it a try. Slowly hold on to a focus, lifting the left heel to the left buttock. A little revolved flamingo here, stay long in the neck. And then just trust, my friends, trust as you send the left toes back and step it into a lunge. Great option here to open up. Keep a sense of humor here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Whoa. And then we'll dial it back. Plant the palms, half splits. Lift the left leg up high. So just work here wherever you are. Keep the levels hip. Doesn't have to be uh, all the way up. Keep the levels hip. <laughs> Keep the hips level. Yes, I'm human. Deep breath in, step the feet together, long breath out, forward fold. 
Shake it off in the head and neck. And we're going to repeat the slow roll up from before. Gorgeous. Bring the feet together, palms at the heart. Slight little bit of space between the heels just to play. Bend the knees. If you like to take in the finger, I like to take my fingertips out sometimes just to remind myself, oh yeah, I can play with a little more weight in my heels. Utkatasan. Inhale in. Exhale. Bring outer edge of the right elbow to the outer edge of the left thigh. Try to keep the knees together here. Then lengthen, lengthen through the crown. Deep twist here. So breathe into your belly. And let's see if we can do it. Just have a little fun lifting right heel to right buttock here. Maintaining the shoulders drawing away from the ears. Maintaining that length in the neck. Keep breathing here. If you fall, we'll catch you. And then just trust. You don't need to look with your eyes. Trust. Send your right toes all the way back into your lunge. Yay! Find length. If you want to open up here, please do. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And if you're like, I can't do that another day, right? Or maybe seven years from now. Enjoy your process. The journey is the reward. We know this. Let's practice it. Dial your heart back to center. Step the right toes in, and when you're ready, lift off. So playing with half splits today, I mean, you might be able to lift it up higher, but keep those hips level. Careful not to lock your standing leg. Eventually, you'll get to a place where we draw the nose in towards the knee and maybe wrap the arms around the shins. Be here now, though. One more breath. And then exhale, stepping that right foot in. Yay! Heel toe, heel toe. The feet as wide as your mat. Come to a nice, juicy squat. Ah. Palms come together at the heart. You might find a little sway here. You might stay here, breathing, enjoying this lovely stretch in the hips. Or you might take this time for a little crow practice, bringing the palms out in front, walking the two big toes together, keeping the gaze forward, connecting to your center, and connecting to your strength as you maybe lift one toe up, followed by the other. So just play here, breathing deep. So we're either in the squat, we're doing a little crow play, maybe just rocking one toe up, then the other. And then maybe one day a little lift off. So have some fun wherever you are. Keep breathing. And then everyone come back to the squat. And we'll begin to release the fingertips behind us and come on to the bum. Send the legs out long, press into your heels. Inhale, reach for the sky with the wrists reaching up, kind of like thriller arms here, reaching up. This nice uh, counter pose for the wrists for those who did crow. Deep breath in, exhale, fold. So if you can grab the shins here, or the ankles do, maybe you take the middle finger, the index finger and thumb to the big toe here, pull the elbows left to right. So whatever feels good, a little counter here of Hashit Mottanasana or seated forward fold. Take a couple breaths here, close your eyes, and we'll begin to cool it down. Slowly releasing. We'll come to our backs. And first, I'm going to start off by giving you a little option. You can do bridge pose or wheel pose, taking a back bend or maybe a shoulder stand or a plow. So I'm going to do bridge so that no man's left behind. But if you know those other poses, then you might supplement that now. So for bridge, I'll guide you through it. We walk the heels up towards the fingertips, where the fingertips land and we shimmy the shoulders underneath the heart center. Imagine like squeezing one of those yoga blocks or something between your legs. Hey -oh. And then press into all four corners of the feet. Sorry, inappropriate. Just having fun. Please don't write me nasty things. I'm sorry, you're just having fun. Okay, <laughs> just kidding. 
press into the palms, find your foundation. Inhale, lots of love in. Exhale, lots of love out. Again, you could be in wheel now or shoulder stand or even an inversion. If you're ready to lift up into bridge, you're gonna press to all four corners of the feet. And again, inhale, lots of love in. This time as you exhale, begin to lift the hip points up, peel up from the tailbone. Don't let the knees splay out here. So imagine again, squeezing that block in between the legs, in between the thighs as you slowly begin to lift all the way up. You might interlace the fingertips underneath you, continuing to draw the shoulders, the shoulder blades in and together, snuggling them underneath the heart center. Then here we go, inhale, lift the chest up towards the chin. Lift the chest up towards the chin. Press into all four corners of the feet, then lift your chin. Beautiful, should feel really good in the base of the neck. Keep breathing here. One more breath, you got it. And exhale, break free first with the fingertips. And then that's your cue to slowly roll down. Enjoy this sweet little massage on the spine as you release. Great, then we'll bring the soles of the feet together, knees nice and wide. Bring the hands to the hip creases here. Inhale in, exhale, just give it a nice push. Oh, feel, it should feel good. Pushing right at the hip creases, the tops of the thighs. So give yourself a little self-adjustment here, little massage. Whew. Great, then we'll bring the fingertips around to the outer edges of the thighs and bring the knees into center. Awesome. This time we're gonna shift the knees all the way over towards the left. Then take the left ankle, cross it over the top of the right thigh. If you're hot, you got cultivate a little heat today, you might interlace the fingertips, bring them behind the head. Breathe here. Hmm. Awesome, then slowly release. Massage through the sacrum as you come to the other side, knees melting to the right. Maybe you just stay here. Or for a deeper stretch, cross the right ankle over the top of the left thigh here. Staying awake in the feet, being mindful of the knees. Breathe deep. Hmm. Awesome, then slowly one unravels and the fingertips out left to right, Texas T. Hug, knees up towards the heart, scoop the tailbone up. Inhale in, exhale, melt the knees to the left, but let them hover, so don't let them collapse here, let them hover. Press into both palms evenly, shoulders grounding down. To bring it more into the core, extend through the right leg. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then back to center, rolling through, we send it to the right, same thing. Hover, so before you reach the earth here, stop it, control, hug the lower ribs in. For deeper connection to the core, extend the top leg. And then back to center. Now you're off on your own, melting back and forth. Kicking with the top leg, finding that sit bone to heel connection, and then melting through to center. Keep it going. Notice how each side is different and how with repetition uh, the sensations do change and evolve. We'll do one more on each side. And then bring it back to center, great. Wrap the arms around the shins, slowly peel the nose up towards the knees. Visualize all this space, this beautiful space between your back body, your spine. Then we'll reach to the outer edges of the feet, slowly lower the head, the neck down, and lift off. Happy baby. Take a second to massage the feet, maybe rotate the ankles. And imagine yourself as a little baby here, finding a little play time to rock gently back and forth. To find what feels good. Maybe extend one leg and then the other. And then releasing left foot to the ground, crossing right ankle over the, the top of the left thigh. So a drop just dropped right in the center of my head, right where like a bindi would be. <laughs> just right smack in the center of my 
third eye. Whoa. Whoa, guys. Reach the right fingertips through the hole. Thread the needle here, little reclined one-legged pigeon. So for me, I invite you to lift the left shin parallel to your sky. Keep a brightness in both feet, a little just awake, awakened energy. To go deeper for the hamstring, you can extend the left leg or even peel the head up. One more breath here. Exhale, release. Take the same thing on the other side. Crossing left ankle over right. We reach through right shin parallel to the ceiling. And then we gently release. Awesome. Okay, last little thing before our final and most precious Shavasana. Again, cultivating strength today. We got this. Bring one hand on top of the other. Bring them behind you, up and overhead. Scoop the tailbone up, navel draws down so the lower back is flush up with the mat and the feet high up towards the sky. Here we go. Hug the lower ribs in, so engage, engage. Protect lower back. Inhale. Slowly lower the left foot down. Exhale, bring the left foot back up to meet the right. Reach the fingertips to touch your toes. <sighs> Inhale, this time right foot down. Exhale, reach up, touch the toes. <sighs> Keep it going. Inhale, extend. Exhale, reach up, touch toes. <sighs> Try. <laughs> Inhale, extend. Exhale, peel it up. <sighs> Keep going. Careful not to rush. And one more on each side, you got it. Nice, slow, controlled movement. One more, last one. Great, keep reaching, we'll pulse for five. And see, Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together, hands come to the belly for a little pet. And then eventually we'll extend the legs out long. Any last little movement you want to do here, anything at all, a boat pose, another twist, anything that feels good before you come into your final relaxation pose, do it now. And then we'll come to really walk the heels out as wide as your mat and also let the armpit chest breathe here today. Tuck the chin into the chest, lengthen through the back of the neck. I leave you in Shavasana here today. As much as time will allow, please stay here for at least a minute, if hopefully not 14 more, and just be with your breath. Give thanks, set intentions for the rest of your day or for the week ahead, and have an awesome rest of your day. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with myself and the others in the community. Take good care. Namaste.